you all safe travels and a productive day out there. On to our first story of the day. The accident that caused our lives to be gone last Friday evening. You sure you can do this? Harrison, this is Deputy Sheriff Lightsey. My name is Detective Branscombe. Is Lacey home? Well, yeah, it's like 5.30 in the morning. She's in bed. We need to speak with her, please. Now? Mom? Go back to bed, Lacey. I'm sorry. She can't do that. We'll be taking Lacey downtown to the station. You can't just come in here and take my daughter. Actually, this says we can. Why? She'll be at the third precinct on Atlanta Avenue. Mom! The right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you in a court of law. You understand these rights? I, I, I guess so. Lacey Harrison. Hey, baby. Shut up. Am I going home? No, let's go. Lacey, get out of here. I didn't do anything. I want to go home. I'm going crazy in this place. Let me out of here. Let me out of here, please. Take a seat. Thing? I'm fine. The only thing I need is out of here. Come in. Lacey, meet your lawyer. Lawyer? Hi, Lacey. I'm Michael. I'll be handling your case. My case? Okay, now that we all know each other, let's get on with it. Can I please have a moment with my client before we proceed? Please? I haven't even had time to look at the notes. Actually, no. Now, your client has the right to an attorney. But nowhere does it say you have the right to speak with her before I do. Lacey Harrison, how about you tell us about last Friday night? I was in an accident Friday night. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, the car accident. How I assumed you banged up your face? Well, yeah, my face hit the steering wheel. Lacey, what I'm more interested in are the hours before the accident. Where were you? A friend's house. Which friend? Emily Bryant. What were you doing at Emily's? Nothing. So you were not a part of the party that was going on that night? Yeah, but only for a little while. Did you drink at this party? Because we have a report of neighbors calling the cops because they witnessed teenage drinking happening around the home. Did you? What? Don't want to speak? Fine. How about you take a look at these for a moment? Do you know who this is? This is Brenna and her daughter Sophie. They took these a few weeks ago. They look happy, right? Now take a look at these. This is Brenna as she sits next to the ICU hospital bed of young Sophie. This one was taken Saturday morning just before doctors told Brenna her daughter was brain dead. Her organs were failing and would live at most a few days. 
I don't know these people. What does this have to do with me? I'm sorry, excuse me. Brainscum, your father's online too. I'll be back. What do you think you're doing? You're not put on this case, and I don't think you should be. You should be home. I'm fine. I don't think you are, B. Is my father really online too? Or did you just pull me out of the hallway to preach at me? Yes, he is. Lacey, are you starting to put any of these pieces together? No. You have no idea who that mother and child are? No, I told y'all that already. Perhaps you were too intoxicated Friday night to remember their faces as you plowed into them head on. What? No! Know what? Know you weren't intoxicated or know you don't remember? Both! I only had a couple of drinks. There's no way I did this. Do you remember the accident at all? Only that it was late and I was trying to make my curfew. I was going kind of fast and I lost control around a curve. And the next thing I knew, I was in an ambulance with blood all over my face and a headache and headed to the hospital. I was the one put in the ambulance. I didn't even know I hit anyone else. I didn't know it was this serious. I see a white tea has connected some dots for you. No one told me there was another car. I think it's time for a break. Oh, I don't need much longer. She obviously needs a break. I think she'll be just fine. You're something else, you know that? She's just 16. This isn't justice, this is bullying! And Sophie, a now dead girl with only seven! You wanna talk justice when there's a dead child laying in the morgue? Until you have to bury your child, you don't know the meaning of justice! It goes far beyond a little rough talk in an interrogation room. And I promise you, this child will get plenty of it! Jacob, I think you need a breather. Get off of me, Lightsey! What the hell is going on? I think it's best you and I talk in the next room.
I see Officer Lightsey has connected some dots for you. No one told me there was another car! 